Hey YouTube, Typical Toy Reviews back with another video. Today we have Funko Pop from the Game of Thrones line number 68, Lord Varys, or Varys, however you want to pronounce his name. This is from the newest line of the Game of Thrones Funko Pops. And real quick, um, I know I missed Saturday, and uh, this video will probably go up on Sunday, but I'm thinking I'm going to try to just upload videos throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, if not every other day, I try to film at least two videos a day so I can have um, one video for that day and then one video for the next day. And then when I find time, I'll film some more. Uh, so I apologize for missing Saturday, but I'm probably going to stick to that Monday through Friday schedule, whether it be every day, every other day. Um, but from now on out, you can probably expect not to see a video on the weekend, um, but it also could be sporadic. So um, with that out of the way, we're going to jump in, take a quick look around the box here. Here he is on the side. Now this is um, season one Varys. Uh, he's wearing his yellow and green robe. Here's the back again, the same series as Yara brand Children of the Forest. Technically Leaf, uh, Gendry, and Beric Dondarrion. I believe this is edition eight. Um, I did a review on Gendry and Yara Greyjoy. I'll put some uh, links in the annotation at the end of the video. Uh, there goes the side. Also a review on Beric Dondarrion, and there's a classic view at the top and the standard bottom of the box. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box and give you all a closer look. All right, so here's the pop out of the box right away without the packaging. It's kind of hard to tell what this character is supposed to be. I mean, in reality, he's, he's a bald gentleman. His garb is rather plain, so it's a pretty faithful representation to the character in the show. Um, it's just kind of hard, if you don't know who this is, um, to be able to pick him out, unlike some other characters. One I'll bring in in a little bit. But bringing him up close, he does have some uh, wrinkling detail there above his eyebrows, brown out, eyebrows, black eyes. Otherwise, the head sculpt is very plain. It's actually kind of weird seeing no color here on the back. It's almost like a prototype if you just show the head from the back. Um, his outfit's pretty detailed. It's got some like flowery scroll work in green on yellow. Uh, I believe the color is showing up a little dull on camera. It's, it's kind of like a mustard seed yellow with a very light seafoam green inlay. And then he's got some dark brown trousers, a brown belt around back, and lighter brown pointed shoes that curl up at the toes, if you can see that there. Um, so very plain pop, pretty basic, but again, like I said, there's not a lot to the character. Um, it would be nice if they made Season 7 Varys um, in his new outfit to match the one that Tyrion's wearing and Daenerys and uh, Miss Andy as well. Um, but since this, why, this guy just came out, you probably won't see that. Um, but real quick, here's his good old friend and fellow council member, uh, Peter Baelish. They actually kind of have like a similar pose and similar look to them, but uh, for people who don't know the show, I would say this character is more distinct, and they could probably realize who it is faintly just off of knowing, but... As far as Varys goes, it's it's kind of hard to tell. Um, Peter's a little bit taller, but that's probably just the hair mold on top. Um, the bodies are about the same size, but they're definitely great companion pieces. I really hope they make Grandmaster Pycelle to complete the council. Um, maybe even a Kyburn, but I'd like to see Pycelle first. Um, I think that's everybody, and I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, maybe even like some King's Guard members just to have more people like the Armored Mountain that actually have uh, King's Guard outfits on or you know past characters that weren't so relevant. We definitely still need Robert Baratheon. That's the biggest one and Lady Catelyn. Um, updated Rob Stark maybe, but uh, there's definitely a lot of people that they need to, to make into pops in, in my opinion at least that they haven't done yet, but you know those discussions come and go and um, be on the lookout. I know HBO Shop is supposedly having some new exclusives uh, coming out soon, and how soon that is, um, I don't know, in the next couple months maybe. Once the new wave comes out with all the Thrones um, and the uh, the White Walker uh, riding uh, one of those zombie horses, whatever you want to call them, a, a, a white horse. <clears throat> 
once that drops is probably when the exclusives will come out but until then you know we got what we got I'm still working on completing the collection um, since my full collection video I've added a couple pieces I've added Sansa Stark Jamie Lannister and his Kingsguard armor and beyond the wall Jon Snow but I got them all out of box um, just because I got a great deal on them I think Sansa was 23 and she came with two other pops Jamie was 23 and the beyond the wall Jon Snow I paid 32 but it also came with uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten mystery minis as well game of thrones mystery minis so for 32 bucks uh that was a pretty cool deal there um but that's all i know i've been rambling on here if you stay into the end and listen in, i really appreciate it um but you know again this is uh, a review of lord Varys number 68 from the newest line there's a real big close-up of the box i do not have the children of the forest pop i really don't like it and I do not have Bran Stark. If I can get them one day, I get them. If not, it's not a huge deal. I do have um, uh, all the other pops. I might go back and, and do reviews of the old ones as well. I don't know how many people have done those on YouTube. I mean, at the end of the day, this, I'm, I'm beating the dead horse reviewing pops that have already come out. But, you know, I enjoy it. And it's just some additional content for my channel. I mean, let me know if you guys enjoy the videos. Um, some of my subscribers, just comment down below if you want to see something else. I'll probably do another room tour video soon. Uh, I have some pieces coming in the mail to uh, extend the Game of Thrones collection from Dark Horse Comics. Um, and once I get those in, I'll uh, definitely do an updated room tour. Not a lot's changed, but um, I think there's enough difference. And I get a couple new subscribers each month, so... Maybe one of those videos will catch on and help bring in an audience and help decide uh, what people want to see. But that's it. No more rambling from this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. Comment down below whatever you want to comment. Like the video if you liked it. And subscribe for more content. Thanks again.